All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, this would be kind of, I guess, part two of, uh, of uh, painting these hydraulic remote extensions. Um, I'm not putting any more paint on them now. They've been kind of just hanging here for the last, uh, I don't know, half an hour, hour. Um, painted the, uh, the remotes that are in the tractor a little bit. I didn't go crazy with it. I just kind of touched them up a little bit. But it was just tricky to do because you're trying to not get the interior too. So a little bit touchy, but just I gave it just a little bit just to kind of blend it in a little bit. But I figured, well, since I'm going mad on painting, um, why not go ahead and paint this uh, third step extension that I built um, a couple of years ago. It's not pretty. I mean, when I built it, it wasn't pretty, but um, for how long I'm probably going to keep that step anyway because it's kind of mangled. It's just this will do just fine. So I just painted that now. So this has quite a while to dry yet, and this has quite a while to dry yet. I haven't touched these for a while. But I noticed that the paint was still kind of tacky. So I'm thinking for that to really cure, probably takes at least a couple hours. Um, it's finally like warm enough now because it's almost, it's 3.30 in the afternoon now. Uh, I imagine these will have to hang here pretty much for the rest of tonight. I don't really know. Uh, and definitely that, that's definitely going to have to hang all overnight, but... Since I don't care too much about how this looks because it's going to be outside the tractor. Um, I kind of just more or less just soaked it on and then let it, I'm going to let that soak in. And then I still got to do the bottom yet, which I probably should do that quick. And then, uh, yeah. And then that's uh, pretty much everything I need to paint on that tractor for now. Um... It looks like this is going to be kind of a a slightly low gloss paint, I guess. I don't know. You can kind of see it there how everything's reflecting off it, but I don't think it's going to be a mirror shine, which is fine. That's what I wanted. I didn't want anything shiny, just like a super soaked shiny mirror shiny kind of thing. I just want it low gloss, good enough. So, yeah, I probably have to, I'm going to probably do the, the bolts too that go in these end and the steps. Um, probably do them when I install it. I, I don't know, because because then the step's going to look funny because the step's faded and this is all shiny. So I might have to do the the nuts separately. I probably should have just, should have brought them. I could have put them on the, uh do hickey and put some tape around the threads and then you know shined them up but i don't know i haven't really decided yet too much what i'm going to do there but or i could just leave them they'll look fine either way with a little bit of light chrome colored kind of but yeah so that's that third step that i built a couple years ago for the tractor it's not pretty i did have to put a uh, and then uh, well, I did that all at the same day, kind of, but I had to put another plate in. You can still see it's kind of starting to bend already, but one plate wasn't enough, so I had to weld in um, a second plate just to reinforce it some. So, but it's going to look good, though, I think. There's probably going to be runs in it, because like I said, I kind of just soaked it in. I didn't really... Uh, yeah, see up there, I gotta do it again up there. She's not quite right, not enough paint. That's starting to, you know, soak into the steel now. So, she's gonna need another another layer, but, yeah, same thing there. She's gonna need another layer yet. And then I gotta put a layer underneath. But, <clears throat> Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that, but I figured I might as well. I and mean, I got all this extra paint, so 
I might as well. So, but yeah, these are going to have to hang here. That's definitely going to have to hang here for tonight. That's not going to dry in time. Um, well, none of these are probably going to dry in time for me to install them today. They might be dry tomorrow, but tomorrow is only supposed to be like in the 50s. So if there's going to be a wind, it'll probably be closer to 40s. So this paint's probably not going to do much drawing tomorrow, but as long as you can get most of the baking done now, it should be all right tomorrow. I don't think the sun's going to be out either, because usually if the sun's out, then the shop will get a little, you know, a little hotter inside than normal because the air can't go out. So what I'll have to do, because I'm going to have to be able to, I'm going to have to shut my garage door tonight. So I'll have to move these, I guess, into the track holes, put the door down a little bit so I can get to one of those holes. So I got this one here. I got it hanging in a track hole. So I'll have to push the door down so I can get to that one and just kind of just kind of keep doing that. I'll have to hang them somewhere else temporarily. I probably could hang them up here temporarily, I guess. I don't know. So, but for now, they can stay like, the, the door can stay open for a few hours yet. And I'm going to be coming pretty much in and out every hour just to kind of check up on them. And, uh, yeah. I bet you that paint is still tacky. Yep, still tacky. You, you'll know if it's tacky because it'll it'll be sticky. And see, I actually left my fingerprint in it now. So yeah, that's probably going to need a few hours to dry. I bet you, with this breeze coming in like it is too, it'll be nice. Um, because it is a warm breeze because it's, it's, it's from the south. So it'll be a nice breeze. I got the fan finally going. That doesn't really do a hell of a lot, but it's just kind of help push the paint out, the mist. Because the way that sprays out doesn't really fan out like I thought it would. It's kind of just kind of more of a sharper, you know, stream of paint than it is a fan spray type. So, but no big deal. Um, yeah, but it's just gonna look good though. It's just gonna look, it's just gonna look just fine. And see, I can smell this paint because it's just, you know it's fresh. But then if you go over here, I don't really smell paint, so because it's drying now. But that you can definitely still get a whiff of it. Yeah, totally. Oof. You can definitely smell that paint. But that's like I said, I just did that, so that's how you can tell too. If you can still smell the paint, then it's probably still wet. But we'll uh, we'll just let her uh, we'll let her percolate. But as long as it dries, I guess good enough. You know, maybe I can put it back on tomorrow or something. I don't know. Um, these are done. I'm not going to paint these anymore because they're done now. I like them the way they are. I think they got enough paint on them. They look pretty sharp. So, it looks pretty. You guys probably can't tell on camera. And this one's better to look at because it's actually in, facing in the, well, this one and that one over there are shining into the light so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So it looks like this paint up here up here is different than the paint down here so it's got to be drying it's got to be drier up here so but i'm not going to touch it anymore i'll touch it later tonight um because i want that area i want the wind to come in here a little bit it'll, it'll help dry this obviously and uh yeah but I, I, like I said, I decided to uh, do the step, the third step built thing that I did. Um, just so it kind of blends in a little bit and, you know, 
it was starting to kind of rust a tiny bit because it's been on there for a couple of years and obviously it didn't have primer or paint or anything thrown on i just welded it all together cleaned it up the best i could and bolted the son of a bitch on so oh no i'll try here oh no i guess i'm okay okay never mind thought i had some stuff just like grass stuck in the paint but i think that's just weld shit from when i was welding so anyways i gotta get this turned to lit i'm going to throw another layer on there and i gotta do the bottom of that and then these things can just hang here for tonight i'm not it's supposed to be fairly warm tonight i think it's supposed to be like in the 40s for the low for tonight so this probably i think would still dry it's just not going to dry faster. It'll dry slower, but that's all right. So other than that, she's looking good. Um, yeah, got my glasses on because the bright sunlight. Come to Ranger, but yeah. So that's what's going on there. I decided to do that third step as well. And uh, it's not a pretty step, but at least it looks a little bit better now. Figured I might as well do it. So, yeah. And what's gonna be nice too is I'm also thinking about ordering a, a category two top link for the 15A6. See that one down there is a cat three but I need a cat too. So when I decide to um, get a bale mover, see they only fit the category twos and I can't get it, I can't find a category three. So I'm gonna to try to find a used international top link. I think the junkyard has some or all state egg there. I think they have some used ones, but I think what I'll do is I'll get a used one and then I'll paint it up, make it look nice. So a little look, you know, decent, so. Not that I have to, but I, mean, I got extra paint, so why not? So, anyways, guys, I guess that's pretty much lit for today. I don't want to make too many videos. I got a, already like two weeks worth of videos going up. Um, and then uh, still still working on some videos yet too. So, yeah, see, there's a good there's a good breeze coming in. Yeah, that's why this is moving. So. That'll help dry everything. That'll definitely help dry stuff out. Get two things to dry. I don't want it to dry too quick because then it may not stick properly then, but whatever. All right, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to continue painting. I'm going to throw another layer on this, top up, you know, finish some areas that I see I missed, and then uh, do the bottom of that. And this thing will be looking like new. <laughs> It'll look better. So... Alright guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take her easy.